Hello, Math Crafters, and welcome to Treasure Hunt Day. That's right. Today you are going to go bury treasure, and then you're going to go find your tre and find treasure with your friends. So I hope you feel like being a pirate because are we going to be burying some treasure? Okay, so to do this lesson is pretty easy. You just need some basic things. Let's go over them. First of all, you're going to need a book and quill. You're going to need a chest, or several chests, actually. Um, and then, you know, my treasure is going to be based on horseback riding, so I'm going to have saddles, wheat, a horse egg. Um, so as you go through the scavenger hunt, you'll be able to ride a horse when you're done. But it's up to you about what you want to put in your treasure, because it's your treasure for your friend. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go into normal mode and time set the day so it can be sunny and shiny during our video. Um, I'm going to need more chest than this. I'm going to need at least three chests. Yeah, there you go. All right, you guys are going to be in uh, survival mode, so I will go into survival mode. Boom. All right, so the first thing that we got to do in treasure hat. Uh, treasure chest hunting is we need to put up our coordinate plane which is the whole basic point of the math on this lesson is to learn coordinate plane to do that push the up F3 button on the top row of the computer and you will get these numbers and if you don't know we're right here it says block these are the this is the block ID that you're standing on this is your X which covers the left and right this is the Y which covers the up and down and this is the Z which covers the uh, left and right, up and down, north and south. Okay, so uh, right now I'm standing on negative 361. I'm at 72 blocks tall and uh, 499 blocks west. So now we're going to go exploring. And you know how, and I brought my trusty shovel because you know how I feel about making paths. Oop, the lag is real. So. Make some pass as I go. And then I'm going to go up into these mountains. And yes, it may be weird to have the numbers on the screen, but you see as I move, the numbers move. If I push W, you see it goes on the X, Y, on the Z. The Z, it goes 570. It's going down, but the other two numbers are standing still. And if I push A and D, the uh, the first number, the X, is going, moving. So now it's down to negative 348. And now it's up to negative 361. You see that? Okay, so back to game. All right, so I'm going to go bury my first treasure somewhere in these here mountains. You know, I probably should have wrote down the coordinates of the town. But all right. And here's a nice spot to build my treasure. Hmm. Over there. So now I'm going to dig a hole. I'm going to place a chest. Then I'm going to put my saddles in here. And then I'm going to close it. Right click, get the book. And I'm going to write chest one, negative 346. I'm looking over here at my block ID, negative 346, 92, and 0, 607. And this is how I'm going to find it later on. I'm just going to follow these numbers, and you'll see it. Oops, when, no, when you sign, you no longer be at all. Okay, so done. I'm not going to close and sign it until the end. All right, so now I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put another treasure up on this ridge. Now, uh, give the kids about 10 chests, or have them make 10 chests, and survival will be pretty easy. Um, and here's the top of a mountain. Ooh, over on a cliff. This is a nice, dangerous place to put a treasure.
and right click it now I'm going to put inside here my wheat to tame the horse and I'm going to write in my quill stand on my block stand on my chest right click to open the book and write chest 2 is at negative 310 the Los Angeles area code 97 597 and look right there there it is okay done now I want to hide my chest with this dirt and you know what I want to put some arrows in here Ooh, those are arrows of harming so those of you who watched the video you can find my treasure I left you all right and where is a good place to leave the next treasure well I don't want to go too far Here's a good spot. And now I'm leaving my third treasure. And it's going to be the horse egg. And this treasure is at... I could also use the looking at cords too, right here at negative 315, 86, 544. 554. You could use that as well, but I'm going to write that in the book. Negative 316. Chest 3. Negative 315. 86.554. Okay, done. Now I got my treasure book. Then I had the TP is going to the teacher is going to TP all the students back to a central location. They're going to switch books, and they're going to go get some treasure. So now that I got, now let's say I switch books with my partner, and now I have my treasure hunt. All right, I'm going to now look for negative three forty six. 92607 negative 346 92607 I'm typing it in the chat just so it's easy to have next to me I would have your students write it on a piece of paper so they don't have to always look in the book they can just kind of copy it down all right yay I wrote it correctly okay so now I'm going to hit F3 and I'm going to see I'm at right here I'm at negative 311 9559. And I need to go to negative 346 92607. So the X is going to need to get deeper into the negatives, and the Y is going to also is going to need to grow deeper into the positives. So I'm going to first check to see if I move this way, which one of the three numbers moves. Okay, this is my uh, Z, and I need to grow it, so I'm going to need to go this way, because you see the numbers are getting up. Hit T, check my um, X at negative 46, so I need to make sure that which way. If I go this way, the numbers also get bigger, so I have to go that in that direction okay so I'm getting closer to 607 right now 1 2 3 605 606 ah 346. What do you know? I have to go down here. 
I got, and I knew that by watching my numbers. Jump, Jim, jump. Okay. 607 and 46. So, wait, 49. Ah, 46. And what do you know? Here's my chest. And then I can go get the. Then I can go get the saddle and do my treasure chest. Younger kids might have a little trouble with this, so really help them out and uh, make it fun for them. But I think the bigger kids are going to really enjoy uh, knowing how to use this tool because if you can read your coordinate planes, you will never get lost. I'm Jim Pike, and stay crafty.